Welcome back to the V-Bar 101 and the last step in the basic setup. As you see here, I uh, actually pulled the head off my helicopter and uh, put on a swashplate lever. There is uh, some confusion here because some people think that just because you have a gyro on there, it will take care of any uh, bad stuff and also any interaction you got. While in theory it's true, but the gyros really cannot detect small drift and, and when you really push it hard in TikToks and stuff like that, this will matter. The out trim function on the V-Bar will help a lot compared to other systems, but even then it's a, a good setup beats it all basically. Um, so what I'm using is a swashplate lever and the first thing I'm gonna do is to uh, make sure I have a level swash at, uh, at center pitch here. And I just use, uh, use this to, to level out the swash. Then I go into the expert screen and use the same thing for lower uh, if I have a Oh, one click to the right, and you see it highlighted here. Two clicks. And then I go to the top, and I need a couple of clicks to the right here. There we go. Now it's level throughout the range, and that's my purpose here. Some of you might have noticed that I never checked any pitch ranges, anything like that when I set up um, during this basic setup and that does, is on purpose because after you do this last step everything changes a little bit uh, since you're actually changing the center of the servos. When I click, if you uh, look at the uh, center here and when I click um, forward it actually moves backward, it moves from the center. You can also see here that I have 47 on uh, sub-trim on one of my servos, the elevator servos. And that tells me I'm not really in the good range. I would like to see that number between plus 40 and minus 40, uh, meaning I could do better work with uh, switching servo horn. In my case I actually probably just put it on, I'm gonna turn it around 180 degrees and I will probably be within uh, 20 at least. So uh, that's something for me to do, but uh, otherwise uh, we are now complete with the uh, basic setup, uh, but we're not completely set, haven't set up the helicopter completely yet. So uh, in the next episode we're gonna finalize this helicopter and make it ready to fly. I'm gonna cut in here with one thing that I should have mentioned earlier, but uh, I forgot it's uh, like that when you have everything in your head. Something is too, too obvious for me. Uh, servo center and uh, its impact. When you are outside the in non setup mode, the control loop is enabled, and if I touch my... It, it's not necessary that the servos is returning to center really. Uh, but as soon as I hit the setup button it will go back to 90 degrees if I have zero pitch. I, I mean the pitch is still affecting so but if I have zero degree pitch uh, the servo will be centered. The control loop is disabled and if we look at my uh, tail servo here it will be 90 degrees as well. So that's how I figure out where to put the servo horn on, on, uh, on the servo.